I like my class. I like my friends. And my favorite thing is that it's a school when I can speak English when I am a person, a great person. CVS is located in Cofradia Cortez, Honduras, and it is a bilingual school. The school is a little bit on the outskirts of town, about a 30 minute walk from the center. Cofradia is just a small community. Um, it has, I think, about 40,000 people and a lot of dogs and chickens and kids running around. Um, it's a pretty lively place. Cofradia's bilingual school was created in 1997 the original owner and the founder. His name is Ben and he's from Australia. And he came here with the vision to start a school that would do pretty much what it does, provide a bilingual education for kids who, who otherwise, they couldn't afford to go to a private school in San Pedro, who otherwise would be stuck in, in the local schools with 50 other classmates and they wouldn't be learning English. About 240 students attend CBS and most of them come from either Cofradia or Naco or another town close by. Some of them come from families that are comfortable or even well off, but a lot of them are just from around the surrounding neighborhoods and this is really their one shot. In the school we have the possibility of the volunteers y ellos enseñan muy buen inglés y a mí no me cuesta nada porque mi hijo tiene una beca y por eso yo soy muy feliz y porque estoy con muchos beneficios para mi hijo ahorita y para el futuro de él porque ahora en, en Honduras el segundo idioma es el inglés entonces mi hijo está aprendiendo algo que le va a servir mucho I think the best thing about the school itself is the kids. Um, they are crazy wonderful and they have so much energy and enthusiasm and it's really inspiring to see that. The school is giving kids an opportunity not only to learn um, really fluent conversational English, um, but also the opportunity to get this multicultural international education um, where they're introduced to all these ideas that they might not be able to to be exposed to otherwise, and I think that that really opens doors for them. I think one of the things that's great about CBS is that the volunteers are really willing to get involved in the students' lives. So, I mean, for instance, something as little as buying a kid a water bottle. Um, one of my students actually was bringing in an old bleach bottle as a water bottle. So something as simple as me being able to buy him a water bottle or, you know, there are students who don't, can't afford lunch, so some of the volunteers either share or give up their lunch for those students. I have wanted to volunteer abroad for a while, and I was actually all set to go to law school. Um, I have had, you know, my <laughs> tickets essentially booked and where it was heading out to USC Law, and something just didn't feel right about it. Um, I've actually known our volunteer coordinator, Amanda, since middle school, and the way she talked about the school, she was so passionate. You could tell that she really cared about the kids and was actually changing people's lives, and I sort of thought about it for a little bit and thought about where I could be most useful at this point in my life and law school didn't seem like the, that place um, so I came here instead I had about three weeks to prepare um, and I've been here for two months now and could not be happier I extended my stay basically because I didn't want to leave I, there's just sort of there's nothing better that I could be doing I think at the moment. There wasn't really any good enough reason to leave. Like I was loving working with the kids, living with the volunteers. I'm seeing the school change quite a few people's lives for the better. Um, usually poor people, poor families in the school. You know, one student in a large family, if they receive a bilingual education at our school and then can get a better paying job, it can help the entire family break their cycle of poverty. Yo pienso que, que como educador tenemos en la mano en las manos algo que podemos que podemos mejorar. 
y que en el futuro estos niños van a ser mejores personas. Un niño con, con una persona con dos idiomas vale más. Entonces sí, yo pienso que estoy aportando un granito de arena para que la para que en el futuro la, las, estos niños sean mejores que nosotros. One of the things that we're lacking the most at the moment is teachers. We currently have two classes that don't have a full-time teacher, and we also are lacking a resource teacher, which the students who need one-on-one -on -one attention I mean, really deserve and really need. It's a small group of us. Right now, we only have nine teachers. Ideally, we would have about 14, but we make it work. More volunteers with experience with, with teaching would be great, but our main priority is getting people that are passionate about what we're doing and that really want to help and oftentimes even if they have no experience in education or with teaching if they have that motivation behind them and that passion to to help the, the students and the families at our school they're great teachers because they're putting so much into it. CBS is very underfunded we have students who can't afford to buy food. We have, I have students in my class who don't have uniforms, who don't have PE uniforms because they can't afford to buy them. The more children that we can put on foreign scholarships, what we call Beccas, the better because that's money that is coming in for the school but doesn't have to come from families who are struggling to pay. There's a ton of kids in Cofradia who would love to attend CBS and who we would love to have, but they just can't have, they don't have the sponsorship. The school, it's running solely for the benefit of its students and the, and the mission that the school wants to accomplish, which is bringing a richer, better bilingual education to Cofradia and giving children the opportunity to receive it. There were a lot of programs that I looked at that felt like just that, it felt like a program. I personally wanted to feel very connected and close to what I was doing and I, I wanted to be able to see the personal impact I could make. And I felt, the more I learned about Cofredia's bilingual school, the more I felt like I could really engage in the community. And it seemed that the teachers were really given an opportunity to connect on a personal level with the students. And I am so happy I ended up here because that is exactly what it is, and that is what draws so many people to CVS, and that's what makes us stay.